I think the time has come to clean up my tool table here. And the biggest thing in the way is this big lumber mill part, which I'm going to go put on the lumber mill right now. Oh no, there's a kid's hair thing on the wheel. What's this called? The bulldozer. All right. All right, I just have to get it from here to over there. And uh, thank you, Snow White. Give me extra powers by being on backwards or something. Okay, I can't put my hand there or I'll lose it. to make something to hold that up there. I don't know, I can just put a clamp there until I do the official thing. Alright. Oh, should we check that I can actually get it up and down? Put this thing on there. Get you back up a little more so you get the whole view. Oh, a piece of cake! Place there. Move it into this one, wherever. Nice. Right, I'll leave it down there so no kids walk under it. I guess. The next thing to do is wire the solar panels, make some kind of fancy switch to connect it into the thing. And then it should be functional. I mean, I have to put the blade on, but that takes like four and a half seconds. There is a funny thing I want to do with the solar panels, though. There are six solar panels, and this, this is, I'm going to run this motor on 24 volts, and the solar panels are 24 volts. Well, they're like 30, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to run them all parallel 
to this. So each solar panel will be connected directly to the motor. Uh, and that should mo run the motor pretty well. However, I also want to be able to flip a switch or something and have three solar panels connected in series and then another three solar panels connected in series and then those two separate things connected in parallel. So then I have like a hundred volts. So I can run this off like the 30, but then if I make a thing where I can, I can do a hundred volts, I can plug in all kinds of power tools and like a, like a hot plate cooking thing and you know, things that you plug into a, a wall socket that don't necessarily need alternating current. So I want to, I guess I should draw, draw something and kind of plan out what kind of switches I need to make to do that. Thank you, Aurora. I mean, Snow White, I love your suit. <laughs> Are you going to cut some, cut some wood now? No. Right. Uh, you get back here, you little monkey! <laughs> Alright, I've got six solar panels, right? And I want each one to individually connect to the 24 volt motor in the lumber mill. And then I also want them to come in threes to, th to this like a plug, so I can plug in drills and stuff like that. Um, so maybe I'll draw all the connections to here in one color and then all the connections to here in another color and see where I need to put fancy switches to have those two, two options of it. You know, I'm only getting to use one of these at a time. So this could actually plug into here too. I just have to make sure I have it <laughs> set to the right thing. Although if this is set to 100 volts, it's not gonna put out many amps. I could connect the 100 volt thing right to the 24 volt motor. It won't have enough power to, to do much. Um, but yeah, I just have to make sure I connect these right to the plug and then I can plug the lumber mill in or other stuff. Okay. So one way to connect is like this. <clears throat> all right, so let's say the all the negatives are on the left here and all the positives are on the right there. Then we got a negative here and a positive there. Fine. So all the negatives of these connect all to the negative here. All the positives of all these connect to the positive there. Pretty simple, right? All right. Now for the orange one. Well, this wire stays exactly the same, but then this goes through here, which goes through here, and then this one stays the same. All right. And then this one stays the same, and this goes over here, and it goes over there, and then that one stays the same. So, so the only wires I have to change are these four connections and these four connections. And I either have to make it connect to the next solar panel over or to the thing. Okay. So that means I just need four double switches. Like kind of here. Yeah, no, come into there. Right, so the the electricity from the solar panels will come into the switch and then it'll either connect down here to those wires or if you switch it up, it'll just connect this right across there, across. So a switch that, when you switch it up, it just connects into itself, it shorts itself. And when you switch it down, it connects to these wires down here. Okay, four, four double thingy switches. Oh, I changed my ha my perspective halfway through drawing this. Whatever. Okay, so basically that. And it goes... And then maybe two other bigger single switches to connect three solar panels and then the other three. So I can disconnect both, both clumps. Or connect one clump, then the other clump. Right. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I want four switches here that can change it. I might want to make it a little bit harder to change. 
because, I mean, if it's like this, little kids will just be able to come and yank the switch unless it's like, I'm gonna have to protect them all the time. So maybe I make it so the wires coming out of here have like a copper thing with a, you know, a hole in it. The wire coming out of here has the same thing. And then these, uh, where does it go? This line going here has the same thing. And then the one going here has the same thing. Okay. Then I put a bolt through this, connecting those two. And I put a bolt through that, connecting those two. Uh, and that's how it'll be anytime I'm using the lumber mill. And then if I want to take the lumber mill off, I disconnect those two bolts and then connect this one directly to that one and then just, you know, I'll leave those hanging. They don't do anything then. But, uh, yeah, just connect those across with one of the bolts. And that'll be a, that'll make it a little harder to change, but I think that's fine because it's not going to be the kind of thing where I'm going to be switching back and forth all the time. Like if I'm going to want to set it up to use the lumber mill, I'm probably using the lumber mill like all day. So if it takes me two minutes to undo a few screws and, you know, switch them. Yeah, I think that's good actually. I like that. I still do want uh, two other switches, like, you know, closer to here, so I can turn on three solar panels or the other three, or, you know, both together, of course. So I have a bit of speed control. And I can, you know, turn it off, obviously. Also, making little uh, copper ends of the pipes is easier than making all those freaking switches. All right, and I, and I don't actually need all these different wires coming down here. I can just have one thing that comes from this that's like a big copper bus bar. Is that what you call it? With a bunch of holes. And then one that comes off here. And mount those in convenient places. And then all... I can just put these on every wire coming from the solar panels. So, I mean, this one would be screwed onto there like all the time. This one would be, oh no, wait, this one would be sometimes screwed there, sometimes screwed to the next one. Yeah. Sounds good. And if I put, if I put these on the ends of all the solar panel leads, then it actually gives me the options of connecting them all kinds of different ways if I feel like. Like maybe I'll be doing something 48 volts at some point. Or maybe I'll do something 220. All right.